how to use nodes on the DaVinci Resolve color page. Let's go. Okay guys, here we go. So here we are, we've got some clips lined up. Now, if we go across to the color page and you can't see nodes, just go to the top and ensure that nodes is selected. And this is where you're going to be building your node tree. Now, if I right click, the first thing to notice is that you can label your nodes. I highly recommend that you do this so you know what each node is actually doing. So normally the first one you do is color correction and then the subsequent ones are the color grading. So if I just call this color correction for the sake of it, right click again, and let's go down the list. So the next one, for example, is node color, which I don't really use, but you can color your nodes. Now, the color, uh, the lock is really interesting. So if we add a gray uh, a color change to this and we lock it, you'll see that if we go to reset the color, it actually, you can't do it. Only when you unlock it can you do it. And this is quite handy if you don't want to accidentally make changes to something. But today we're going to be focusing on the types of nodes. So you've got serial, parallel and layer and these are the three types we're going to focus on today. Uh, another thing to point out here is you can obviously delete a load if you need to. So if we add a serial node here, you can click on it, right click and go delete. Or if you wanted to, just control V there to undo, you can just press the delete P up to you. So let's jump right in and look at some examples. So this one here, as you can see, we've got uh, a color correction and we've got another couple of layers. Interestingly, if you uh, click on the number, you can obscure it, which is really handy if you want to see the change that you've made. So the first one, as you can see here, is green grass. I've just made the grass a little greener. Now the next one is darken. Now serial nodes, they change everything that's gone before it. So this has darkened the grass and all the previous clips. The next one here is a parallel node. You can see they're stacked one on top of the other. So again, it's the same changes. If I turn on green grass, there you go, just the same as before. But if I now darken it, you'll see that the grass is actually a lot brighter. It's a lot greener compared to the previous one. And that's because instead of darkening the grass as well as you do in serial nodes, you darken all the previous ones. This has affected the original clip. So this is quite handy when you want to make changes to something, but you don't want to change the previous clip, you want to change an original clip. Now if we go to layer nodes, you can see it looks like parallel but they are a difference because the one at the bottom is the overriding one which affects all the previous ones, it overrides all the previous changes. So if I turn on green grass and then turn on dark and you'll see there's no green grass. So unlike parallel, it's not building up, it's overriding the previous ones. So if I just for example delete this and just add another separate node, go add and then parallel, uh, sorry, layer, then you can see it's overridden the darker node again. Now, why is this? I think uh, the DaVinci manual explains this very well with the color circles. So parallel, you can see here, building one on top of another, it's adding and then mixing them. But if you go to the layer node, you can see it's obscuring what's happening uh, in the clip above it. So the blue, it's on the bottom, it's overriding all the previous ones. And this is really handy, for example, if you want to change a uh, skin tone or skin color in uh, a clip, but you don't want to be combining it with the background, you want it to be totally separate. So that is an example of when this would be really handy. So there we are, that's Nodes. I hope you found this useful. As always, please leave your comments in the comments box below if I've missed anything or you'd like to see anything else. And I look forward to seeing you next time.